Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Um, first of all, uh, I'm going to create a table. Um, that table is self-referenced. Um, it contains CID, SID and the name. And then we create a form to populate that table. Once the form has been created, um, I also need to um, display the data on the web page so I can see what I have entered into the database. Now actually I entered two rows, uh, both are the parent rows. How do I know this? Because I set the SID equal to zero. Now I've entered the third row which is the, the child row of the, the first row because the SID of the third row equal to the CID of the first row. To display the data on the web page, we need to have um, two separate record sets. The first one is a masked record set, which is filtered by SID, where SID equals to zero. And then we create the second record set, which is uh, used for the uh, detailed repeat region. Now I'm going to create two tables based on these two record sets. Remove non relevant fields. Change tables background color. Now we have two tables with different background color. Switch to the code view, you can see these two record sets at the top of the page. I'm going to move the second one down under the first table and above the second table. Merge two tables together by remove some of the table tags.
Now you can clearly see there are two separate loops in one table. My next task is to move the second loop into the first loop. Just cut the wall statement of the first loop down under the second loop. So now you can see the second loop is looping inside the first loop. Also we need to modify the query for the second record set and to make sure it is being filtered by CID of the first record set. Excellent, it's working now. You can see now uh, those loops are inside the uh, CSS templates. I'm going to make tutorial as a category and lesson 1, lesson 2 and lesson 3 as subcategory. See how it goes. Looks perfect. Thanks for watching. Bye.